back inside the admin side of WordPress and I'm in the recipe page. Right now there's no way for me to know how many ratings each recipe has or what the rating for each one is. Wouldn't it be nice if I could see all the data here in this table? At this point, you can already guess how we would do this. If you were thinking action hooks, then you were correct. Along with showing the rating count and the actual rating, we're also going to remove the tags column as it's kind of useless information for this post. Open up the admin init function. I'm going to add a new filter hook called manage underscore edit dash post type underscore columns. I provide a link to this in the resource section so you can learn more about this hook. Let's take a look at the codex page. The post type in the name can actually be replaced with the name of the post type where the columns will be updated. So let's go back to our filter hook and replace this word with recipe since that is the name of our post type. This filter hook will actually give us an array of columns already set by WordPress. We have the option of returning a modified version of this array or a brand new array of columns. Let's set this filter hooks function to add underscore new underscore recipe underscore columns. I'm going to create a file called columns.php within the admin folder and define the function here. Make sure to include it with the admin init function. This function will be passed a columns array. We're not going to use this though. Instead, I'm going to create an array called new underscore columns. The key of these arrays will be used to identify each column and the values will be the names of each column. This will be outputted into the header and footer of our table. If we take a look at the codex page, WordPress provides a list of default columns we can set. I'm going to use all of these except the tags and comments column. You should have something similar to what I have. You'll also notice that I make each column name translatable. Right after the categories column, add two more columns called count and rating. When it comes to custom columns, you can name these whatever you want. I'm going to keep it simple. These column names will also be translatable. Since these are custom columns, it is our responsibility to output the data for each column. Back inside the admin init function, we will now add an action hook called manage post type posts custom column. I provide a link in the resource section for this action hook. This hook will allow us to output info for each column. The post type keyword should be replaced with a custom post type this hook will affect. In our case, it would be recipe. The function we want to call is manage underscore recipe underscore columns. This hook will actually pass our function to arguments we'll need. So I'm going to set the priority to 10 and accept the arguments to 2. I'm going to define this function inside our columns.php file. The two variables that will be passed are column underscore name and ID. The column underscore name variable is equal to the key in our columns array and the ID is the ID of the current post. I'm going to use a switch statement here. I'm going to check the column underscore name and see if its value is equal to either count or rating. Otherwise, I'm just going to break this statement. Don't worry about the other columns. Since they are WordPress columns, WordPress will handle setting those values. It's our custom columns we need to worry about. For both of these columns, I'm going to grab our recipe metadata and simply echo the corresponding values for each column. Refresh your table and you should now see our columns appear. We only have one recipe, but we can already see the amount of ratings it's received and the average rating just what we wanted. 